yeah. Okay. Um, uh, okay, let me just say something. Uh, uh, we just uh, recorded on, on the um, cloud. We don't do live this time. Uh, so this is a training session for tomorrow's uh, um, live class on pending uh, bonus style Chinese uh, brush painting. Um, which is in between the uh, freestyle or spontaneous style, xie yi, and the uh, gong bi, the uh, elaborated outlined, uh, fine line style. Um, so it's, it's a very practical um, uh, place for people to, uh, who just start to learn, or you know, even your um, advanced in English gonna be uh, this is something new uh, to explore because this could be to study the real objects uh, that you know like your flowers um, is more realistic than Shiyi, but not to the extent of the elaborated style of uh, gonna be so, uh, this is a the, uh, uh, painting I did uh, from uh, two live flowers um, and, uh, and the cabinet, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, I think the master uh, did something, uh, I think, looks like a real flower, but uh, it might be, you know, imaginative. Uh, it's, it's for this one, like my Vanda's the leaf. Uh, I think it's a Chinese Wanda, maybe. I, think I do have some. Um, but the flowers sometimes is uh, uh, very hard to identify. Like tomorrow, we'll study basically the long blade of uh, orchids. Um, so we may start from here. It's very similar to the. Uh, uh, this is a copy of the. Uh, the book. I, think. So I sent you the yeah, uh, I've got those. page. Yeah, there, there are many of this kind of uh, leaves in the book. I think uh, because this is the supposed to be a teaching book for uh, the artist's wife, you know, sample. Uh, yes, I was fascinated. I wanted to know more about his time during the late Qing Dynasty, was it that he was run? He yeah. Was he was, uh, oh, it that must have been a very difficult time because, boy, a lot was changing. Yeah, it, he died in the eve of the Sino uh, Japanese, Sino -Japanese War. Mm -hmm. yeah, just before they took over Hong Kong. And, uh, he died in the 1930s, uh, 38. Uh, so he was born 90, maybe a, a, about uh, the uh, turn of century. I think. He, he, he died at the age of uh, 39. So not, not very long way around, but uh, uh, yeah, that's very unfortunate. Uh, uh, but he, he belongs to the second generation of the Cantonese school or the Mainland school. I, I heard some noise. Can you, mute you can unmute yourself. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, if you want to talk and uh, just unmute yourself. Um, so Li Ye Wu is a, a uh, uh, early 20th century artist. Uh, here's, a, here's a bio in the, on the cover page. Uh, he was born in the 1899 and died at 1938. Uh, he has style name Chen Wai Li Xian Huang Shan Tai Yi Ren. Um, his uh, his father in law is a famous artist, uh, Luo Zhong Peng. I don't know him <laughs> actually. Uh, when he was young, he studied the painting, devoted to painting. Uh, in the beginning, he uh, concentrated on flower and the birds uh, and uh, sorry the noise can 
He, he uh, studied uh, the bonus style after Qing Dynasty master Yun Nan Tian, Yun Shouping, if you know, and uh, also uh, Ming Dynasty Chen Boyang, um, Boyang, uh, same contemporary artist uh, as Qing, Qing Pen, the other Xu Wei, uh, Qing Pen, uh, is one of the two uh, fam most uh, prominent uh, flowering birds. And um, master in Ming Dynasty, Chen Boyang in the Qing Dynasty. Uh, actually, um, Yun Yun Shouping, Yun Yun Nan Tian or Yun Shouping was considered of, of the founder of this uh, uh, bonus style. Or maybe you know he was uh, um, he made this uh, uh, become a main uh, uh, style. You know, in, in, in between Gondi and Xie Yi. Uh, so they, they, they emphasize on the uh, painting from life, life flowers. And he, he also uh, learned from his teacher, the Ju brothers, Ju Lian and Ju Cao. Um, we call them Ju brothers, Ju uh, Lian and Ju Cao. I, I will show some painting in the class maybe later. I, I do have a folder with uh, some Penny's funds uh, online by the two G's, G brothers. Um, he combines the uh, brushwork, it's an expressive brushwork of Chen Boyang, uh, Boyang and uh, the uh, uh, delicate color of uh, Yin Shouping, the Qing Dynasty bonus master, and uh, um, also absorbs the, the uh, uh, techniques from uh, the two G brothers, his teacher, uh, the uh, elaborated uh, style and some techniques. So his, his painting um, is a new, new face with a new style of his own. He, he, um, his brushwork appeared to be kind of uh, weak or, or kind of uh, slim. Uh, and the weak. Uh, I, I, I don't agree with that at the beginning, yes, but uh, uh, if you try to cut it, you'll you see it, it has a bone in it, you know, not, not so weak. Um, but it's, it's certainly his style is very slim. So that that's uh, reflect his personality, which makes uh, him different from other Man school masters, especially the contemporary or late um, second or third generation, um, or now maybe fourth generation Man masters. Yeah. So there his, was yes. I really noticed when I was going, I've got it um, downloaded, obviously, the book. But what fascinated me was, um, was the angles that he took in some of his pictures almost to the extent he'd cut off many of the flowers and have just a couple and then down the bottom it'd be all the leaves taking mm -hmm. up the page which kind of is a trend away from that style that we know yeah i think uh, the composition uh pretty much inherited from his teacher the two g brothers um that cut off uh, branch um composition yes uh so he always started from uh, uh, we, we, we put, you know, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, th those are classical uh, starting points, you know, maybe on the corner, but not exactly on the corner. So, uh, like you said, yeah, it's all diagonal kind of. Uh, and that's kind of refreshing because it takes you out of your comfort zone. Um, yeah, it's not what you use, see like a picture, in a picture frame. Uh, it's, uh, um, I think it, actually if you look at it, there's Master Seed Garden Man. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it, it, we call that uh, we, the cutoff branch, uh, but they don't, um, they're not isolated from the natural context. Uh, so you still feel the the pain, you know, the flowers are not uh, like still life on the table. Uh, 
uh, in a in place or something. They're still alive in the natural environment. Uh, so it has the wind, uh, the air, um, although not light, but they're in yang. The in yang. So, so they're, they're still, um, you feel the grow, growing uh, power. Uh, of the net natural uh, skill, so that that's very interesting. I I think the 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 book the you know the the principle is that you you change almost like life. This probably is smaller than the, than the actual moment, but the uh, the flower usually kept the same uh, you know the feel of uh, the live flower, but it, the, the the stems and the leaves that we uh, use, right? So um, it it fits in this uh, like a uh, almond. Almond leaf is held, is held uh, at a, you know a hand position, not not hanging on the wall. So you can see in, like a couple of feet distance. Then he has lots of tail bug that please give you a reward when you see it comes up. You know, you, you can see the, the close up of yes. the, the bug, the, the insect. Yes, I, I like doing <laughs> Yeah, that's what uh, makes this kind of painting um, different. It's uh, uh, not directly, uh, but he has a garden, has all these kind of flowers around. So sometimes he says he, 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 he paints, uh, the like flowers, um, but uh, more uh, stylized, you know, just, you know, when you see a real uh, orchid, you really cannot, um, you know, make it in a piece of paper like that. So you, you have to make the leaf skinner <laughs> like this, uh, but you keep, as much as possible, the, the, the flower size and the bug is life size to give you um, a realistic. Um, so his this is my cover, but uh, yeah, the first thing you can practice at home, you know, is the stroke. So this is the very classic. You cannot really, uh, trace it. You, um, you can, you, you, you draw the outline and then you feel like it's not uh, the same as uh, the one stroke approach. So you will lose the um, movement. But you, after you draw this uh, uh, stroke, you can change the, um, the color. You can, you can add to it, um, especially on Stems, the uh, on leaves also, he would he will charge the stroke with a different color. You can change the hue, you can change the temperature <laughs> if you use the um, light. Okay. And uh, then this uh, in interest, I don't want to translate tomorrow kind of painting. Uh, so he, he after the those uh, artists uh, um, he learned and uh, created his own style but you know it, 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 his characteristic is, is uh, towards lean and the uh, thin strokes um, this book the uh, it was from a, a collection of 100 flowers uh, album for his wife to copy. Uh, a contemporary uh, critique, uh, his friend maybe Li Jian uh, praised this book, saying, um, when I go over those uh, paintings, as if um, as if I, I'm browsing through his garden among flowers, through uh, uh, blossoms, uh, I, uh, I can smell uh, the fragrance, different fragrances of, uh, uh, of them. And uh, the uh, vivid uh, insects, uh, butterflies, almost uh, uh, 
come out from the the, the paper, you know, flying out of the paper like a wheel. And, and the, the brushwork are uh, wonderful. Uh, he also does landscape painting. Uh, I tried to search, maybe I found the one only. It does uh, look like uh, Ni Yunning. So his style of landscape, as you can imagine, you know, based on his, uh, his uh, you know, flower and the uh, birds. Um, sorry, he, he favors the Ming Dynasty. I'm sorry, <laughs> Yuan, Yuan, the four Yuan uh, master. Uh, one of the four Yuan master Ni Ni Zhan, Ni Zhan Ni Zhan is a very you know just like three three or five uh, very lean uh, dry trees with a um, flat view lake, you know like two banks uh, uh, and then three trees in between. That's a typical Ni Zhan. So he does that kind of. Uh, um, Simple simplicity, uh, you know, simple lands, simple uh, composition uh, landscape, and the very sparse uh, branches. It's just a kind of a, uh, like a, you know the the design is a very neat <laughs> uh, freak, right? It's it, he has that kind of. A, uh, Taste. Very clean, very clean, clean, clean chi. He also writes uh, po poems. He, he had a collection of uh, his uh, um, poems entitled Chen uh, Wai Qing Tan, poems uh, outside this world, uh, this uh, dusty world. Chen Wai means dusty. Or, or, uh, and uh, he lived in the Can, uh, Guangzhou, Canton. Uh, so his, uh, he, he called him his uh, studio, Chun Feng Chi Guan, the um, Spring Wind Hunt Studio. The uh, Canton province, Provincial Museum has the uh, fine art museum has a, a collection of uh, his large painting um Dan Yuan Zi Tan Tu. it's a, a wisteria in his garden Dan Yuan is his garden name and uh, he used the, the brushwork of his teachers uh, Ju Ju Nians but uh, the uh, the qi, the qi movement is uh, more majestic and uh, strong. So he's not, he, he could do large paintings. Uh, I've never seen the large painting myself, but I can feel uh, that qi, uh, even on his small paintings. Uh, so when he, he, he does large painting, his uh, first work is still Lean and uh, but it's just the bone, you know, just like the one of the calligraphy remind me uh, the So Jingqi, the uh, Emperor uh, Song Huizong calligraphy. There's no no muscle, just the bare you know bone, bone stroke. Yeah, that that, that kind of. And uh, here's another introduction um, by an uh, art critic. Might uh, worth um, translate that I I didn't prepare so maybe I do that next time. So anyway, uh, this book is is a uh, very um, rich, you know, with the seasonal flowers. We did this one just uh, quick quick uh, nurture. Yeah. You did you, you did this class. This is the. Uh, what is called the uh, Kamenia. So this would be good for the winter. I did that one on the left hand side. Yeah, you recognize that, huh? Yeah. I did that, but gee, did I make my flowers slightly bushier, big? <laughs> um, yeah, this is quite, 
small uh, bush or, or a tree. I, I have this in my front yard, like oh, just outside my window. This, uh, bear, bear. Um, I, I actually ruined mine a little bit, but I kept it because I made these bushes of flowers way too big. I'll show you. Uh, yeah, this is what I did last year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me step to the to the to your uh, to your left a little bit. Okay, now I can. See. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Very good. I I like I like that. Uh, your yours is very realistic uh, because uh, you cannot identify each flower. If you a little, um, most well, people. I, I yeah, start. Drop in drop in method. Right, you can you can, um, you can combine several flowers to make it uh, because when you see the this flower in distance, you really cannot identify the yeah. six petals or five petals. So uh, he does that. But most people did uh, something like yours. If you look at the top view, you, you do see you just have this individual flower. You just made it in my abstract. You can see yeah. the six petals very clearly, identifiable. Yeah. But until I, I copy, I, I don't really see the nuance. You know. So every time I do copy, I learn something. Um, I, I just notice the, the uh, different tonality, you know, different. Uh, uh, so, so the, in, in each group, there could be one flower which uh, is maybe uh, darkest or strongest. And the rest of it, yeah. So you, you, that's kind of a, so you, you, you identify maybe several um, clusters. And then Sometimes have, I think it takes more than one attempt at painting it. Oh, definitely, <laughs> I've done a <laughs> new You're busy looking at the shapes and, mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff and then when you get to know it then you can be a little bit more expert for me experimental right. you know? and uh, he, he used the uh, chipping technique to create the little um, uh, i call it a sim line you know the edge hard edge around the, the stand huh? that, that makes it a uh, natural uh, fine line style Right. Yeah, it's not outlined, but uh, natural. So, yeah, this uh, this one is um, uh, iris. I yes. Yeah, I, we could learn from this for orchid tomorrow, but because the flower is not blooming, I think, or maybe, maybe well, we have the iris bloom in the spring. But you can see uh, this is quite. Um, similar to the Wanda, yeah, this is the dots. Um, I have a Wanda, it just bloomed on time. Beautiful. So maybe I include this before I include the Wandas. So you can see the little pattern that it, it's almost like watercolor kind of. Um, yes. And what's the little animal, the little insect? Um, I can't see from grasshopper, here. Grasshopper. 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 Mm -hmm. But he has person, personal kind of uh, characterized. Uh, yeah. And this is a fine grasshopper. Um, I don't know what the flower, it looks like a bee. <laughs> You can you know what this is. So this leaf is for um, uh, paleonopsis, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can this to the like uh, paleonopsis. And, uh, this leaf make it rounder, it's uh, bigger. So it's very typical with uh, this style to separate the two sides. This is like gombi. You know? Um, yes. It's very. But I'm still a fairly a beginner in Gombe too, even though I've been 
doing quite a few of them. Um, I was able to get your um, videos online through YouTube and that's where I started practicing. Um, but I really need to um, actually do a course in it through you when you have one offering. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is the one that I loved, the one on the right. I love the fact that he cut off half the top of the flowers and really his emphasis was on the leaves. Uh -huh. yeah. on, uh, on my right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is a, the cotton rose. Uh, you know, this is a cotton rose hibiscus. <laughs> Strange name. But uh, we call it a furong. Um, the when kind of a um, plant uh, by water usually. Yeah. But, uh, I did this one last class. You, you, you missed the. So, uh, oh, you got the electricity out, so you didn't take it. Like, yeah, but I watched the video that you sent. I watched all this, of that. This was, uh, I did the last class. But still, a uh, long way to do this. This is the most challenging one. The leaves are. Uh, looks easy, but not very easy to do. Yeah, so, kind of because uh, he has this um, poetry describing uh, the beauty of uh, flower in, in, in like a, across the autumn water. It could be misty, kind of distant view. Um, it's, it's a big approach, not so strong. That's why uh, it makes so many quality. If you did, did, did everything stiff, you won't have kind of translucency or maybe fresh feel. So that's uh, it. Works. Repeat you know, every every time. But although I I will try not to repeat to the series. But you are encouraged to repeat. Um, this is similar, but not the same kind of uh, magnolia. It's a, um, different. This is a fragrant flower. We have This is a, the crack ap apple flower. Yeah, this is the one we're going to do. But I, I'm not sure what flower exactly. I just want to see that. You see, this one is charged. Like you do the shape of the leaf and you drop water. So um, it, it feels uh, watery or, or uh, moist. So you can drop a little mineral color, very thin. That's a very um, characteristic uh, technique of the Cantonese scoop. They use uh, mineral water to charge the, on the ink, the stem on the water in this case. So that, so it, it could be it should be done in one uh, ink tone, and then you charge with the mineral green to make it light as, on certain parts. That creates the light and the dark. Very, very good technique to study. Yeah. We also learn from. I noticed the direction of the the stroke is from uh, outside in mostly. You yeah. can do the opposite occasionally, but for larger leaves, I think that's a, that's a, and it, uh, generally speaking, the kind of would you need it. Hence the stems from top down from uh, outside in most like the like And this is my favorite to hit this case. And this is Borgonia, it's very Yeah, uh, I like the leaf on that one too. Yeah, this, you have to make it really, um, elegant, otherwise you uh, the color. Um, if it's too strong, it would lose that kind of uh, feel. I always like the strong contrast when they yeah. do the uh, and the light on the underside. Yeah, this I did this one with uh, 
Uh, I'd say different rewards too. Yeah. I, I have a friend who says very clever. And this is a good study for orchid also. This is a thesis, but uh, you can see how easy to create the, um, the site. Not, an, not necessary on one leaf, just separate the, um, the front and then it could be back of the park and front light. It could be front in the, in the, on the same leaf. Right? So I, I don't know that's principle, but uh, you, you can certainly just put light against the dark and create this um, depth. Um, you know, this is spring flowers, the lilac cherry uh, or apricot. Um, uh, I, I will do another class on chrysanthemum on October 13th. Um, oh, is that when the next one is going to be, is it? Yeah, it's uh, October 13th. I on Tuesday also. Yes, I notice you, it's much easier when you keep to a certain day, mm -hmm. you can organize your week around it. I'm actually studying online as well too, Chinese history, and I have to do that on all my other days. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't released the research yet. We are working with the same group. Um, they would put it in the newsletter after that. Um, and see if we have room for a topic. This usually we have. And this one is very um, interesting because it's more shiri to me, like a day lady, I think. But, Did you say October the 13th? Yeah. Is okay, that uh, Tuesday? Right? Okay. Okay, I just wanted to put that down. That's it. 13th, that's next class. Uh, we'll, we'll do a little more expressive. Um, the style we call it, uh, uh, let's see. I have an artist named Stonebridge. He's not so famous, uh, but uh, I I taught him in my class at eight. It's a style. Yeah. So here's a little bit for uh, loose words also. Basically the same technique. Okay. So if you don't have any questions, I will see you tomorrow. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> good to, good to, uh, to meet you. Bye. Yeah, thank you very much for that time today. <laughs> Lucky to get by yourself. Uh, I, I sent the email too late. The people are not planned for this. Session. I had a funny feeling that you might have sent one, but I didn't see it when I got off shift last night. So I was about midnight and I thought, oh, no, he's not doing one today. But then I saw it this morning. And, <laughs> yeah. But luckily, I'm on mountain time. Oh. And you're um, so I didn't have to panic because you're an hour behind me. <laughs> so that was good. So I had plenty of time to get ready. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, thank you for this today. I'm really enjoying his style very much, and I would like to learn more about him. But um, yeah. I was trying to see if I could find some information, but not a lot. And then I had oh, to get. Uh, is he, uh, he, he, he has very few pennies online. Um, so if, except this book, so uh, that's good because if everybody copy his, uh, your it's not uh, you know um, attractive anymore. Like if I should everybody copy his, or another artist is uh, Zhao Zhao An, his uh, uh, successors, you know the generation master. 
So everybody calls called uh, Lingnan School, but this is also Lingnan, but it's different. That's why I like. And this book is a rare book. You cannot get in bookstores anymore. Even in the um, second hand book, it sells like a 100, uh, 100, yeah. It, it was $8. It, it, it become a 100. Even, even that kind you cannot get. So I I sold uh, I bought as you know as many as possible. It used to sell them for a hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, that's what it costs now. But the only five thousand print around maybe four thousand the most. I think see how many how many they usually put a number of the first print. It's it's not a. Uh, large, if this is uh, just a fine art uh, publishing house, uh, maybe just a one, of a small publishing house, not not uh, the major one. Very rare. I used to see this book online. It was not available at all. No, not not available for uh, the hard copy. Somebody was trying to buy churches. If, uh, if it is, it will be uh, second hand and a uh, real book. Nice. That's okay. Uh, it was uh, it, it, when I bought 1984, it's 10, 10, 10 yuan. Now it's 100 yuan, something like that. Or more. Did you say you had more copies of the? Oh, we have this ebook. You can download the. E I know, I've already got the ebook, but I was really hoping to eventually find. Oh, you can okay. want. Uh, if you want, I can look for you and I give you. Um, oh, I think I can probably look online. Yeah, you, I think it's uh, to to get the, the hard copy. So the they didn't say how many, how many prints, but not not very much. Many. Well, I think it's good to pursue these unknown artists in such a, a country that has so many wonderful painters of Chinese ink painting. It's yeah. good, something a little different. Yeah, he's very different. That's why I like him. Uh, very different from the Japanese. Later, they had a lot of influence from Japanese. He had a, a stronger influence, I think, like I mentioned, the, the two trees. I'll show you the, his teacher. It's not as good as him. Frankly. Really? He had a talent. Please. Let, let me show you if I can. Well, uh, because maybe we don't have time tomorrow. Let me show you this. Um, the, this is recording it. Yeah, we're still recording. Good. So I'm, I'm going to find uh, her, uh, his teacher's samples to give his. Uh, Inferences. Um, yeah, we, the G. Okay, there we go. Open this. Okay, there are two brothers. Let me show the G. Maybe this is the brother. I don't know. Okay, let me open this and share with you. Okay. This is a hydrangea. Oh yes. Yeah. Of of, of his teachers. Uh, a little bit more gumby. Yes, it is, isn't it? But the composition, right? Yeah. Okay. This is a Chinese uh, style. You can see the brush. Yes. Uh, the turn over leaf. And this is the um, plan outline, maybe draft kind of sketch. Yes. So this kind of painting needs to have a draft, just like a Gumby. You know, have a design, an outline design to start with, but you don't do the ink outline. Yeah, that's a, and that's a fan face. I run fan. Oh. Pen. Yeah, you can see the, it's more traditional. Um, so it has the influence of the initial pen. It should have initial pen. pen also. I can see the frog jumping. The, 
the bees. It's, it's not a very high resolution. And uh, this one is on size, unsized paper. That's very traditional, isn't it? The mean size. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, this uh, peony. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think I've got that. Mm -hmm. I think I've got a book. I'll have to, uh, after this, I'll go and have a look, but um, mm -hmm. I did a painting of peonies that was similar to the other one, and I got yeah. it from a book. Yeah, that's very common. You, I, I, I won't surprise you if you find something similar to that. Uh, this one is on unsized paper, but uh, you know, this, this lower part, the background, is exactly what I have, uh, a painting I own. I have an original painting on my wall. Um, oh, I love it. Auction house. Exactly like this, the bottom part, this uh, background, it's very watercolorish. Um, this is a little grass. But it's, but, it's, but it's so nice because it, it, it just softens the rock, but yeah, it doesn't yeah. from the rock. Very soft, the rock color is just like that. I have a rock and then I have this uh, uh, moss. Kind of thing. Oh. Like, it's oh. exactly like this. Um, it's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, lovely. This is a camellia. It's very soft. And this, this, this color is more, more um, elegant, I think. Yes. This, uh, this is much. But you, you see this one again. I, he, he, we don't have this background in the little, but I, I do have a large painting with this. Yeah. Uh, uh, Utong, it's, uh, That's wonderful. It's Akada. Is it Akada? Mm. <laughs> Is it? It's really uh, a hunter. You know, they eat uh, hummingbirds. Oh. They hunt. So this is lily. These rock shapes are lovely. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, look at that one. That's uh, almost a true watercolor in a way. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Oh. oh my god, I love the color of those petals on that sunflower. Mm -hmm. It's blue. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, this is a reverse. I don't know how to reverse that. Um, the, the character is a reverse. Yeah, this is similar to, to the students, but you see exactly the same uh, layout. So he learned most uh, from the teacher. Yes, you can see here where he cuts off and just uses the lower branches. Yeah, this is a manda. What is the flower called? Manda. Oh, I've never heard of that one. It's a yeah, type I of light flowers. Uh, tomorrow I show uh, exactly. They, they they don't need the soil. It's all bare root. I don't have this rock, but I can. I just hand it to under a uh, pedu. Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. I have this uh, um, ca uh, gardenia, I think. That's, uh, that's the plant. This is a uh, uh, hibiscus, uh, or I think it's hibiscus. I noticed they've moved, they've, in his, the, these paintings, they've moved away from a lot of the um, warm toned paints and they were using some rather bright colors. Yeah, that's the latest. I don't like <laughs> too much. Warm. I don't like the ones. I like the warm tones that are more muted and. Muted, yeah. They're, yeah. So the, the early style, not so warm. You're getting hot and hot. <laughs> Lady, uh, this uh, this is kind of uh, an orchid. Wow. Yeah, this is a, maybe a dendrogen, uh, 
another kind of orchid to that grows in a rock. Yeah, they, they don't need the soil. They, well, they, it would be beautiful to grow that in your house in that rock, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, we have lots of orchids in our garden. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Okay, this is a kind of orchid. This is a camellia. And they're very close to uh, me, but he doesn't do any outline. This is not outline. This is, yeah. It's a classical created. Maybe it is outline. It is outline. It is outline. Yeah. You could outline. Yeah. But maybe a combination of the, the uh, stand line yeah. and the, you can enhance the stand line with the outline. You wish. It's very muted. I cannot even see. Oh, wow. Maybe the clock of the hydrangeas. Oh, that's beautiful, the hydrangeas. Yeah, that's a white. Um, the hardest thing is that in some cases, a lot of the flowers are white, and I don't feel very confident in doing a complete wash of color over that paper. Uh -huh. And without just oh, dest without destroying it, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try because I'd like to kind of get these tan shades in the background instead. Oh, of oh I see what you mean. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Yeah, you can use a tan paper and use white. I think they use white in the white flowers. Yeah. Yeah. You, 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 yeah, you could tan the paper. Maybe I should uh, try that tomorrow. I, I I'll use a golden paper. I saw you do that, and I understand why you're doing it. But I'd like to perfect it on this beautiful paper that I get from you. Okay. Um, uh, well, let's let's wash the background, maybe. Uh, then we have to wait it dry. So uh, you can I know. Do it today you can do it today. Yeah. Just but use. It, a, but you could uh, wash a paper in advance too. I could do like five sheets and keep it on dry. Right. Yeah, I, I I will wash just like a watercolor. You know, you can save the flower without wash. So yeah, uh, yeah. And that that's beautiful because he's gone from bright green and he's graduated up to really soft tones. That's yeah. You feeling. can you can wet the paper when you wash. But there's no yeah. brush. So. And I have just, just natural uh, old paper color. You know, yeah, like yellowish. Um, some are silk. This is maybe silk. This is obviously silk. Mm. Beautiful. Silk. Yes, see the texture in the background. Yeah. Wow. It's a hydrangea. The white hydrangea. This is the design. Uh, little, um, the fan face is always the uh, size. I really like how the, the, the flower looked very, um, uh, how would I say it? not in focus it's very uh, diffuse except for the center yeah. it's lovely right. Right. so um we need to use light colors tomorrow <laughs> some some just small to, to wow i can't get larger ones from many of us so just the impression of the... do any of the really good museums uh, that I thought, I yeah, thought I thought maybe uh, Guangzhou. The, it is, is it Guangzhou? Yeah, in Guangzhou, I think. I'm going to write that down because I'm, I'll research that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah most of uh, those two uh, Gs, I think. they might have a home museum. I, I'm not familiar with Guangzhou because it's, uh, I, I've been there once. Yeah. I saw some exhibition, but not the. The ones I well, they saw this southern style painting years ago, uh -huh. but really in the south and the north had its own styles. Um, they actually is a school name, so some Shanghai artist also does this. Uh, uh -huh. to the Canton schools. Yeah, mostly are in south, maybe up to the Yangtze River. Uh, I don't see any uh, people, anybody in Beijing that's this doing that. Uh -huh. So yeah, they're basically different from Chibai Shu, you know, or others in the Beijing, uh, in the same kind of. So yeah, this is 
This is very similar to the style we. Beautiful. Yeah, we, we, this is rose. This is too pretty. This is oh, yeah. beautiful. They, they, they are good at using the Yeah. But let me change. Uh, I think that was on silk too because it looked like it was on. Yeah, this is the, I think, the older brother and then the young, younger brother. Let me show you. Next. Um, I don't have many for the younger brother, but I have a few. I'm going to see if I can grab that book. I did not my mind. This is the younger brother, I think, Jason, and uh, the Ancelot. Um, this could be the Kamenia. It's Kamenia, yeah. The multi petal Kamenia. And uh, uh, this is Wanda, I believe. But this, that's an interesting, interesting, very interesting position. Oh, yeah. look at that. It's very strong. Yeah, this is on right on regular rice paper, not on the uh, it's on absorbent paper. So they do all the plants um, in the south. We don't see them in, in my hometown, the, this flower. It's kind of, I think it's this orchid. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does rock pretty well. You can see the details on the rock. What was, it? What was the brother's name again? G-U-C-A-U. Oh, C-A-O. C A O J U Chao. J is the last name, but uh, usually in uh, history we follow the Chinese uh, format. Last right. name comes first. Oh, this is. I found that book I was looking for, and it's actually called The Spirit Renaissance Chinese and Western Painting Styles in the Late 19th Century. Oh, it, it, yeah, it should, should have. Uh, it, yeah, the, because the Canton is open port, early port. Yeah, uh, they, yeah. They, have, yeah they, sh they should have this uh, kind of painting. Okay. I think I got this book in an antique store somewhere. Uh -huh. Yeah. You should, That's you can from find the museum. Let me see. So, okay. You have it on screen. Can you see it? Let me let me stop sharing this. I I will see. Oh okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is a catalog of. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, but this is where when we saw those peonies with the rock and the whole bit. Yeah, it should be there. Yeah. It's actually well, no, it's not the same artist, but obviously that was something similar at that time. Yeah, um, it should be. Uh, it should include the artists we talking about now. Mm -hmm. So that's the two um, G, G Lian. Uh, the early one we we showed is G Lian, the G brothers. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, that looks yeah like that. That, that exactly like a G. Cannot read the word. Can you read the artist name? So, yes, the artist's name is, and my pronunciation may not be very good. Yeah. It's a C H U. C A C H U. Yeah, and it's got those two little things over the U. Um, G. I think it's G. G. And then. Um, oh, L I see. G. Yeah, that's the way they spell it in yes. the job. Yeah. And then L I E N. Is the oh, yeah, and Julian. Yeah, that's the brother we we, we That's the twenty-four to nineteen oh four. Yeah, that that's the album I showed my father. I showed a minute ago. Wow. 
Do you know what? I did this in a watercolour. Uh -huh. I yeah. have it on my wall. Uh -huh. Would you like to have a laugh at it? No. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, the teacher of uh, Li Ye Wu. Uh, his teacher. Yeah. You got it. I turn myself around. Uh -huh. Oh, you want to show the painting on your wall? Yeah, I'm just going to turn myself around. Oh, how can I turn myself around? Oh, there we are. I have to find out where it was on the screen. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, that's the Julian style. And that yeah. was done very hard watercolor paper. Uh huh. That's a good point. You can use uh, um, uh, hot press, hot press watercolor paper. That's what it was. Yeah, hot press watercolor paper. For those who do not have the sized paper tomorrow, uh, just use watercolor paper, cold press, or the you know maybe the smooth side of cold press. Um, yeah, we don't like the rough surface. That's if you have hot press watercolor paper, it will work. Yeah, this was a slightly, they had a bit of a nail in that surface. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't realize the, co the correlation between the artist that we're studying and my book here that I did many years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. So you're you are learning from his teacher already. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. That's his teacher's work. Beautiful. So let's look at the, the other brother, the younger brother. Again, let me uh, show you. Yeah, that that's a Ju Cao. Ju Lian is the one you uh, we showed earlier and on your book. This is the the two oh. brothers are really uh, similar. So we just refer to them as the Ju brothers. Yeah. Some color, some color turned. Uh, you know the white change the color over time. Yeah. The mecca, like, the time when it's on a material like silk. Mm, I don't know what exactly happened, but it may be exposed to some uh, pollution air pollution things. Um, they should use mecca. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think this is orchid on the rock. So they do a lot of orchid there. That's a nice uh, small yes. uh, one that kind of rocket, yeah, with its bare roots. Oh, this one, I think I put it in, in the brothers' folder, also the young, older brothers. So they're kind of hard to, unless I really read really the signature. This is the younger brothers. Yeah. I uh, see this flower is similar to the, the book we use. It's, uh, oh, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Look at the this technique on the branch exactly like the pupils. Uh, yes. The students. Yeah. Which is traditionally quite a ways from um, the four masters and drawing a brush stroke for a say a plum blossom tree, which is quite different. Very different. Know? Yeah, it, it, it's not done in one step. No, it's done in many steps. I see. Yeah. 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 Yeah, to, to make the feel like a light or uh, you use water, water, yeah. And then maybe the outline was uh, enhanced uh, later after that. So you got some uh, medium gray to start with, then color, then dark. Yeah, that's what uh, I would do. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Trumpet. <laughs> well, most of these done with around his gardens or gardens in general that he would visit. He has a, <laughs> you know, they have, I believe they have gardens uh, in a uh, backyard. So, oh. Yeah. They design with it other friends' gardens, or yeah, that's uh, mm -hmm. anyway. That's all for today, I think. See you tomorrow. Okay.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.